So in this video, before going to the page replacement algorithm, first we will see the necessity of the page replacement algorithm and where it is used. So before that, we will see what is demand paging. Already in the previous video, we have seen the logic of the demand paging. But here, with a small example, I just explain. So when the user process is uh, has needs more memory than the physical memory, then we can go for demand paging. That is, in the previous memory management, contiguous memory management, the restriction is that in the memory, the if this is the user process, imagine, then all these pages, or if it has eight pages, all those pages must be in continuous memory location. That is the restriction. Not only that, the whole of the user process must be in the main memory. That is the restriction in continuous memory location. Then in the paged memory management, one of the condition that is uh, the, the, pro, the user program or the user process must be in continuous memory location is eliminated by dividing the user process into pages and main memory into frames. Both the pages and frames are of equal size. So in that case, if this is zero space can be placed in any frames, one can be placed in any frame, wherever the frame is free, it can be placed. And how it keeps track by using a page table. So this page number is present in the, say for example here, if you take the user process of this zeroth page, this is the zeroth page, which is present in 12th frame. Okay, the first page is present in second. And then third page is present in fifth frame. Likewise, you can keep track so that the sequential execution is still maintained. But still in paging, what happens? If it has eight pages, all the eight pages, it can be splitted anywhere in the main, main memory. But all the, of the user process must be in the main memory. That is the restriction. So what happens? The user process, the programmer, is restricted to write a program uh, which has the same, which, which must have a memory of, uh, which has a, uh, he is restricted to write a program which is less than the main memory space. So for example, uh, if a user, pro, if the main memory is four, uh, four, let us, I'll give a small number. Let us imagine the user, the main memory is four MB. Then the user is restricted to write a program which is less than 4 MB because some of the space is allocated for the operating system, then only the remaining space can be allocated. Not only that, he, um, he, he is since he is restricted, uh, because the whole of the user program, say for example, if he has written a 3 MB program, it can be placed in a 4 MB, provided the operating system occupies only 1 MB. If it occupies more, say for example, if, uh, uh, the operating system occupies 2 MB, then if the programmer write, imagine the main memory is 4 MB, okay? That is the first condition. That is the first thing. First uh, thing, uh, that is 4 MB. Let us imagine a main memory consists of 4 MB. Then the operating system occupies 2 MB. So only 2 MB is left for the user to write his program. But he has written, imagine he has written 3 MB program. Now he can, he never has a chance to execute it in his in the main memory. So he cannot write. Whatever, so what he has to do, he has to write a program which is less than 2 MB. Okay, so he is restricted, the user imagination or he is very much restricted to write a program which is less than the main memory space. So that restriction is in paging because in paging, all of the user process needs to be in the main memory in order for them to be executed. Now, in demand paging, that is very much removed. How? Only the necessary pages can be, at the time what it is running, that pages that alone can be run in the main memory, which increases the uh, multiprocessing also. We'll see how. So let us say this is the user process one, process two, and this is process three. The respective page table of the three user process are given. Let's imagine this process need 20 pages. For want of space, I have given only eight, but imagine here, I have mentioned here, it has 20 pages, okay? Then here, this process need 30 pages. This uh, 
size is 30 pages. Then this process, process three, uh, this will have 30 pages. Okay. So this is the condition, which means this 30 page, this 30 page and 20 page. So 60 plus 20, it is 80 pages needed plus operating system will take some space. Imagine the main memory size itself is only 50 pages. So in that, let us imagine two pages are allocated for operating system. So only the remaining 13 pages out of, okay, since it starts from zero, let us take uh, some 16 pages. Okay, 16 pages of this main memory. So two pages are allocated for operating system. Only the remaining 14 pages are only left for the user process. Now, still we can run these three process. In 14 pages, we will be able to run 20 page, 30 page, and this 30 page process, all the three process at a time. How? So for example, this is the page table. The zeroth page of this process is placed in 12. If you see that, that then this first page number is placed in the second frame and the second page of this process is kept in third page, third frame, third page is kept in the fifth frame. See here. Now, the remaining pages, uh, when uh, only four pages are of this process is present in the main memory. Then, this is the second process. Let us say the zeroth page of this second process is present in eighth frame. See here, zero page. Then first frame, first page is present in 11th. Okay, so here, I haven't made a modification, but here in the 11th, here it is, one is there. Then in the second page, second page is present in 13th, that is here. Then let us take this example, this process. So zeroth page is present in where? Six. Then first page is present in the uh, seventh page, frame. Then second frame is present in the fourth page. Okay. See, uh, even if two, two is that using the page table, it can, the process can uniquely identify its page because it mentioned the frame number. So this uh, process, each process has separate page table. So using that they can map. And here we have additional bit called valid and invalid bit. So since these are all present, these are all in the main memory. Whereas there are some free spaces. One, this is already allocated. So I haven't entered, but I will count this also. So one, two, three. Only three frames are there. Okay. Now this first user process is there. Second user process is also there. Third user process is also there. That is multi-programming is possible. But what happens? All of the user process is no, no need to be in the main memory. So when this uh, zeroth page is executing second page and third page is executing. Now it is keep it, it is till that there will be no problem because it is present in the CPU start executing as all these pages record pages after the next next pages are in the main memory. Now suppose fourth page has to be executed the first line in the fourth page. Now it is not present. So that can be indicated by the valid invalid bit. I indicate this invalid. Now what happens? A page fault takes place because it is not in the main memory. So this page will be in the secondary storage. So now page fault occurs and that particular page will be brought into the main memory. Let us imagine in the 10th frame, this fourth page is brought in. Yes, this fourth page, this is already an occupied one according to this. So now in the fourth page is brought in and since it is free, the, because the operating system will keep a free frame list. So free, free frame list, uh, this is available. So in this case, this fourth page is allocated for this and uh, here also the entry has to be done. Uh, what is it? It is available in the 10th frame. So that has to be. So here after placing this, the page table will be modified and this will be made a valid bit. Okay, so saying that now it is ready. So the, number, the lines in this page will be executed. But for that, it has to take, what are the things it has to be carried over? It has to be carried over. First, it checks the invalid bit valid invalid bit since it is not present there by checking invalid bit it can find out that the page is not in the main memory 
then your page fault takes place. Page fault is nothing but it is not present in the main memory. That is called page fault, which is nothing but an interrupt. Now it will be the searching the secondary storage and uh, the data which is present as block there in the secondary storage that will be the ten this page. This fourth page will be transferred and it will be placed in the free frame. Now here it is the tenth frame. Then uh, that uh, information will be updated in the page table and this bit also made as valid bit. So these are all the things that happens whenever a page fault takes place. That is what we have seen in the previous video also. Now, uh, say here, this process is also executing, imagine. Now, three, uh, uh, after two, this three has to be executed. Three third. Now again a page fault takes place and that particular page will be uh, taken from the secondary storage and let us imagine it is placed in the 14th frame and now it is updated. Okay. And this is also updated. Then uh, again, uh, after executing this again, there is a page fault for this fourth page. Or this, whatever it is, anything, any one of the process we can take. Let us imagine after this, here again a page fault takes place. Now it will be taken and it will be kept here. Four and here it will be trans. It will be the more page table is more updated. Okay, now see the whole of the main memory is over. Now, still the process have not completed all the process because this need 20 pages. I already told you for want of space, I haven't given. Even if you take eight pages, eight pages, eight pages also, this space, this space is not enough. Still more pages are there. So now what happens? Suppose this uh, process is executing, fifth, there is a page fault because fifth page is not. Now it will be read from the secondary storage, but where it will put, here all the frames are occupied. So now comes the page replacement algorithm. If there is a free frame, just now we have seen the 10th frame was free and it is placed. And 14th frame was free, it is allocated and so on. And the proper updation in the page table has been taken place. But if the pre, uh, main memory is not free, all process, here I have given only three process, but actually there will be more process. So all the process, Partially they are executing and they have been occupying the main memory, all the frames of the main memory. Then what will happen if there is a page? Now the next page has to be executed. It will be read, but where it will be placed in the frame? Now comes the page replacement algorithm. What is page replacement algorithm? You have to find the correct page in that uh, frame in the uh, main memory. So for example, uh, this uh, eighth frame. Let us take this eighth frame. This is the zeroth page. Let us consider the zeroth page is of this is not at all executed. So where it is uh, frame zero, it is nothing but it belongs to this process too. Let us imagine the zeroth frame. It consists of only the declaration, something like that. So it may not be needed because now the a process is executing further. In that case, this page may not be needed. Okay, so in that case, it can be removed. Okay, this frame can be removed. The play, uh, whatever is present in that, this, this page is present in this frame. So that can be removed and the newly brought, that is this fifth page of this process can be placed. So let me keep it here as page number. And here I make the adaptation as A. So, and here B as well as in this also it has to be made because now that page has been removed. So there is no frame number, but this has become valid. Suppose after the page number of this three, it is still referring page zero, then it is not present. That has to be, that information has to be there. So now again a page fault takes place. If any line, anything is referring the page zero, then a page fault takes place and that particular page, zero to page which is present in the secondary storage has to be brought into the main memory and the respective frame where it has been brought will be updated. But here we have replaced because we find that this page is least recently used. That is, it is not at all used for so much of time. 
So there is some logic has to be applied for the page replacement algorithms. On what basis we are going to remove that? It may be round robin or it may be uh, FIFO. There are another method called first in, first out. What is first in? The one which has bought first. Say for example, in, here itself we have used that uh, uh, similar algorithm only. We have removed the first page. Okay. After the page zero, page one is brought, page two is brought, page three is brought. So the first page to be removed is maybe this. So if you take all these things, which is the first page which has been brought, let us take the process one is going to be executed first. That was the first one which has come into the main memory, means this 12th frame here. Page, page table P1, process one, page zero. This is the first one which has been brought into the main memory. So that is old, older than always. This is residing for more time, but still it has very least recently used. Then we can remove. So you have to find out a method, some logic, how you are going to remove the particular page table. Okay, oh, sorry, particular page or uh, frame, how you are going to clear the particular frame so that the new page can be brought in. So this is what the algorithm. Now, yes. So what is this general idea? Even if the user process need 20 pages, 30 pages, etc., still he is able to execute this in the main memory with less memory. Okay, in the main, even if the main memory is less and the user process is more, still they are able to run the program in the main memory that is called demand page so when it is demanding when the page is not there then a page part occurs that is nothing but we call demand and that particular page will be taken and put it in the main memory and the respective tables are updated so if a process of 10 pages whatever i have said that is what has been written here if a process of 10 pages actually uses only five pages imagine uh, uh, in if your process has 10 pages but only five pages are used again and again and some of the five pages are not at all used because they may consist of some error routine something like that only a particular event is clicked only that particular page that particular event may be in a, a page which is not at all used so in that case we don't use that unless you uh, say for example print option if the user is not pressing the print option then that print option may be in a page which is not used Okay, so those things cannot, no need to bring it into the main memory. Let it be in the secondary storage. So if a process of 10 pages actually uses only five pages, then demand paging saves the IO necessary. Yes, there is no need, if they are not at all used, why should it brought into the main memory? I want necessary to load five pages which are, which are never used. So for example, if our eighth, eighth page is some print option, if it is not allowed, if a user prints, if your user presses the print button only, the routine of that will be, uh, it finds that it is not present in the second, uh, main memory and a page for access and the particular page will be loaded. So that case only. So uh, I, the IO, uh, respective IO is not initiated. So it saves the IO. Uh, we can increase the degree of multiprogramming, then we bring in only the needed pages. So in this case, here, we can increase one more process In keep on increasing, even for each page, okay? For each frame, we can put one page of different. So which means if there are 15 pages, let us list the two pages. So here, let us consider 15 pages. So 13 pages in each, in 13 frames are available. In each one of the frame, you can execute one page of one user, which means 13 process can, 13 user, different user process can run at a time with each page, each occupying one frame. Okay, so you can increase the degree of multi programming, but this results in a one thing what after the first page of a one user, the second page is needed, again a page fault takes place. Now that will be brought in and you have to decide which page has to be removed in order to bring that particular uh, pages of a process. If 40 frames are there 
and eight process can be run instead of four process where each process requires 10 frames. Let us consider uh, eight process. Each eight process requires 10 frames. Okay, so uh, sorry, let us consider some four process where each process requires 10 frames. So 10 frames means 40 frames are there. That is another 40 frames are there. So when you brought in four presses, all the frames will be occupied by this 10 frames. But if only five pages of each process is used, then uh, five into four, it is 20. Again, another 20. So eight process can be brought in. The four plus four, eight process can be brought in and it can be executed in that 40 frames instead of four process. If you if you swap in all the 10 frames of each process, then you cannot run. You can run only four process. But only five frames, five, pro, five pages of each process, then you can write eight process. Okay. So, but if the multi-programming, degree of multi-programming is increased, we are over allocating the memory. That is what another danger in that. We keep on allocating, as I said, if you are keep on allocating more, to each page occupies one process, then again and again, we uh, a page fault occurs and we are overloading. The IO keeps on uh, doing only these things and the CPU is only initializing. CPU cannot do any other thing. It will initialize the IO and until the page of a particular process is available, it has to sit idle. So that is a uh, uh, that it has to be balanced. So what happens if there is no free frame? That is what we have seen. Then there is no free frame. In that case, this has to be put in. What is to be done? So over allocation leads to a problem. Consider a user process executing and a page call occurs. The OIS finds the secondary storage and it must be brought into the mining memory. But there are no free frames. What it will do? There are two options. One is terminate a user process. So for example, the whole of the user process can be terminated and whatever the frames it is occupying that will be removed and uh, this will be made as invalid bit. Okay, the frames will be removed and we allow these two process to run by uh, allocating the uh, frames to the pages of this process and this process. So that is one thing. So you can terminate a user process, but it is a bad choice because already that uh, selected user process may be uh, in the halfway through or it must be it is about to complete in that case if we select that process to be removed then when you allocate again the whole process has to be executed so that is a bad choice the OS could swap out a process freeing all its frames and reducing the level of multi-programming but how and which frame of a process to be swapped that's what if we have to swap a particular process frame what frame that we have to remove. So that has to be uh, considered. Let's let us consider this example uh, where this is a logical memory for user one, that is logical address space, and this is another user logical address space, where this consists of some four pages. This consists of some four pages. In this this page is not available. This is present in the secondary storage, and this user that uh, this page is not available. That is also in the secondary storage. So let us uh, explain this uh, example for the need of the page replacement. So this is the page table of this respective user, and this is the page table of this respective user. So page zero is at press at three. If you see that, see here, page zero of this that is H, is present in third frame. And this is the valid in memory. So since it is present in the main memory, it says that it's valid. Then page one. Page one is present in page, that is frame four. And page two, okay? Page two is present in fifth frame, that is J. And page three is not present, so it says invalid. Same way here also, there is whichever frame is present in the main memory, for that the frame number is here and the valid invalid bit is there. This is not there, so it is known as the invalid bit. Now, 
when it is executing let us say the when the page 4 is executing there is a statement called there is a line called load m and a uh, instruction now load m means this page has to be loaded okay so here already the first two uh, frames of this main memory is occupied with the os uh, program software now the remaining space is occupied by the user process here see the all the uh, frames are occupied now uh, when it is executing the page 1 okay this page 1 is executed and that there is some statement some instruction called load m load m is nothing but this the value which is present in this page has to be loaded now that page is is present in the secondary storage it is not in the uh, main memory so when that is occupied it checks this and it find it is invalid that is that particular is not in the main memory so now a page fault takes place and this has to be brought into the main memory but there is no space so where it will be loaded the same way when b is to be loaded if there is a, a line execution let's load b like that then where it will be loaded because it is invalid it is not present in the memory so in this case which page we have to remove so that this m will be brought in which has to be removed so that b can be brought in and the execution of the Uh, uh user process continues so for that we need a page replacement algorithm which decides which page has to be removed so basic uh, of page replacement find the location of the desired page on the disk that is find that now according to this when load m it finds the uh, place where it is stored in the secondary storage that is what they given here find the location of the desired page on the disk then find a free frame that is now we have to find a free frame now the location is found now it has to be brought into the main memory for that a free frame has to be formed if there is a free frame no problem that can be swapped in but when there is no free frame now we have to use a page replacement algorithm to select a victim now we have to select a victim victim means whichever in this which we are going to remove that we call it as victim so write the victim frame to disk change the page and frame table accordingly so this uh, say for example this is considered to be victim means this has to be uh, swapped out and in that place this will be written and the respective the page table uh, after this is brought in then the table has to be modified okay accordingly